Hi, welcome to Conversations. I'm Joel Ingardio with the American Civil Liberties Union, and today's conversation is with Matt Coles, the director of the ACLU's LGBT project. That's lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. Matt, thanks for being part of the conversation. Great to be here. There's not many gay men in their mid or late 50s around. Well, aren't as many as there were, that's sure right. Many of your generation were scathed by the AIDS crisis in the late 70s, early 80s, mid 80s. Tell me a, a bit about, you, you lived in San Francisco at that time, Ground Zero as the advent of AIDS. What, tell me about that experience. Well, it was a, you know, I mean, it was a, it was a, it was a difficult time. It was a, you know, for a long time, it was a terrifying time. You know, and watching people you'd worked with for years die and, and die frequently, really, especially in those years, um, often quite awful deaths. I mean, it was, you know, it was like being in the middle of a war. Did you feel a sense that it was up to you to take the reins? Did you feel like, as, as having survived through that, that you were left to really carry the torch? I think I feel this actually more now than I did in 1987 because, um, you know, a lot of people did die in the, uh, in the early and mid-80s, but a lot more people have died since. People who helped us win the anti-gay initiatives in California in the 70s and 80s and the people who's, who, whose judgment I think was outstanding on, on it, and they're all gone. Um, and I think I almost feel now more than ever that, 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 uh, that we really acutely miss um, uh, chunks of a generation of people who ought to be in their late 50s and who ought to have been doing this for 30 years. So once at the ACLU, what were the hurdles? I mean, ACLU had not really had a institutionalized LGBT project. You know, you, you were kind started of... started around the same time, a yeah. earlier than me. But, so, but it was new, and the ACLU had been new. around at that point for 60 years. So yeah. what hurdles did you find within the ACLU in, in getting members and, and, and others to, to really champion the LGBT work? It was a sell. There were parts of the organization that needed to be convinced. And, and there were still people who felt that, that this really wasn't a core civil liberties issue. And the challenge was to get people to see that. The, the moment at which I knew that there was no longer a sales job was when the... Um, Supreme Court decided Romer against Evans. The first great gay rights decision out of the U.S. Supreme Court there, too, and it's the first. And the ACL board was meeting in Washington, and I stood up to give a speech, and it was just remarkable. The, it was clear to me that, um, that everybody inside that room, um, um, they were ecstatic. And I remember leaving that thing and saying, we don't have any more persuading to do. I think we've, we've pretty much got the whole organization not just intellectually on board, but emotionally on board. They care, they really want it. What year was that? 1996. So 1990, so almost 10 years. You, oh, but as I said, you, you sold them for almost 10 years. No, no, no. Remember, though, I mean, when I got to the ACLU, much of the organization was already there and there were parts of it. But, but it, it's two things. I mean, it's both, it's both you want to get everybody on the intellectual plane, but you want to get everybody feeling it emotionally as well. And, yeah, no, I, I mean, you know, to describe it as a, like as a 10-year battle against institutional resistance, that would be really unfair to an organization that was much better than that. Um, but it was, you know, as it is with, with lots of issues, it was, a, it was a process of getting the organization to see it and getting it done thoroughly through and through. But yeah, it was until 1996. Well, thank you, Matt Coles, for being a part of Conversations. <laughs> it's a pleasure. If you're watching Conversations online, I'd like to invite you to click on the next chapter to see the continued conversation with Matt Coles. For the ACLU, I'm Joel Ingardio.